Yeah. Someone yeah. tell Britney we did it again. I heard who got her acquitted again. In my bank account, hold her six digits again. Pull out from here. This for the ones who ain't make it. This for the ones who ain't make it. Focus your lens. Point it at me and see greatness. Point it well, at me and see greatness. On. Ready to be. <laughs> Don't need all black Mercedes. Tezzo need all white heat But homie, I'm saying. I Hi guys, welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast. And we are back with some more Machine Gun Kelly. Um, we decided we were going to take a little journey um, down the little, little, little um, MGK road. Um, so here we are. Um, this song, um, I went ahead and I, I had sampled a few things. Um, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll know that um, I, I know who he is. I'm very aware of... Um, a little bit of his background and story, but I've never really listened to a whole, whole lot of his music. I know a few songs here and there. This is one um, that I actually have never heard. I just sampled a little bit of it. Um, so, uh, and this one should be something that Lacey might like a little bit better because it's a little more rapidy rap and she's a, a rappy That's person. So um, she might like this a little bit better. I don't necessarily think it'll have the lyricism that you want, but it's more rappy. So we'll, we'll do that. Just, just to give you a little heads up. <clears throat> no so, lyrical poetry. So no I think it's there some, it's not, I, I, it's by no means mumble rap, but yeah, but you know, yeah. here we I are. think it's, I think, I think we've just been spoiled by a certain type of lyricism that, uh, yes. you know, that I, I, I find myself in expecting ways. that in everybody and it's not always there. And that's always yeah. a little bit disappointing, but I try and keep an open mind about like, giving other people their own style and their own take on stuff. But like, yeah, you know, lyrics are my jam. So if like the lyrics yeah. aren't there, it's really hard to like get in with a song. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but let's take a little listen to uh sale by uh, yeah. MGK. Would have thought that I did a motherfucker from the land when I came up, I made them stacks. Hey. Was warm in the city, so I had to get them to record and come blaze these tracks. Oh, reverse, reverse. <laughs> yep. Oh, strip show. Let me get my dollar bills. <laughs> oh, this is to the yes, the, the song sale. Okay, yep. little remix action. Kills. Okay. This is a real rapper's theme music. Bitch, sing to it. This how you cook up some dope with no powder. Don't turn on that stove, just turn this shit up louder. Black Eddie Bauer, mask on my face like I'm ready to take what is yours cause it's ours. Y'all stole my style, I shit on you like bowels and take all your princesses, bitch, I am yeah. Bowser. Fuck superpowers, I got this weed. Gun on my head, dog, that's all that I need. I don't play games, man, I'm not in no league. And I don't drop no names, but bitch, I am from Cleveland. Blair, the damn. Someone yeah. tell Britney we did it again. I heard who got her acquitted again. In my bank good. account, holding six digits again. Pull up from here, this for the ones who ain't make it. This for the ones who ain't make it. Focus your lens. Point it at me and see greatness. Point it well, at me and see greatness. On. Ready to be. <laughs> Don't need all black Mercedes. Tezzo need all white heat But homie, I'm that. saying, I need a penthouse that's vacant. A rap money. Salam alaikum. The beast is a wicked. Pick up your shot. My bitch is a murderer. She got a body. She got that brain. Summa cum laude. My city, the jungle. Don't take that safari. It's lions, it's tigers. Gangs and disciples. Lords, Judas and shakes and them rifles. Whores who swear that they live by the Bible. When friends who think they deserve more than entitled. And that's why. I'm out of the ghetto, away from the mornings with snow in that shovel. I'm out of this level, I'm trying to be number one, why would I settle? Gone through the new world, no Pinto, no Nino, no Santa Maria. Still keep it hooked with my peers, sipping colors, watching oh, sangria. Oh, oh, drinking my cup, working my wrist, I'll be smoking my fuck smoke. What Juggle my nuts, use your two hands while I juggle these fucks. But that zero, it's numb. My hands busy holding middle fingers up. I don't do two things, I scrub in this trust. And I don't hate y'all, I'm just fucking with us. And that's where the nipsy, my hustles mean I can sell best to Ken Griffey. I'm like Lionel Richie, my fans have me touring till 2050. It's like a evil, this versus Patino on top of my people. And fuck all these fakers, can't wait till you back on your feet, the streets need you. Up out of the ghetto, away from the mornings with snow in that shovel. Up out of this level, I'm trying to be number one, why would I settle? Gone to the new world, no Pinto, no Nino, no Santa Maria. And I still keep a hood with my peers, sipping Carlos Rossi, Sangria. Kells. Lala, 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 one out for the homies. Oh, okay, I got you. I mean, that's not usually it's a. That was like. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Arco, you go first. Um, not my favorite. Uh, um, like I said, this was uh, just a sampling. I heard just a little bit to know that it was like rap, rap, and click and yeah. decide. And this I know is an older song. Yeah, of his. he didn't have blackout yeah. tattoos yet. Yeah, so I know this is like one of the like an older song. Uh, definitely would not be something I would be listening to a second time for sure. Um, I, I mean, he had some good like bars that were kind of in there and yeah. some things are a little bit comedic you know yeah um but overall like i can't imagine this being something like on my playlist and like pop into my car and be like oh yeah this is my jam that's not happening yeah i i, I have a feeling this is probably a little bit older the uh, yeah i think it is it's like nine years old the girl that was oh, in the yeah. red leather suit or the pleather suit uh you're like what the heck but you know what that remind me of I think it's Britney Spears' yeah, like, Br outfit, Oops. but like with a Oops, fucking face. Did it again? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But it, it was the demonic face looking yeah. thing that threw me off. That, like, that, yeah, we, I was yeah, like, I okay, just, meh, not so much. But that's weird. Okay. Yeah, he because... definitely ha he had a couple of really good, interesting bars like that I haven't actually heard before. Like he said, you know, you'll have me like Lionel Richie on tour for like or till like twenty fifty or something like 50, that. Yeah, for, like, fifty years, like. That was funny. Um, he threw in like the Nina and the Santa Maria, like the ships from history. Uh, yes, th there was a couple of there was a couple of good little bars in there for sure that were kind of unique, which I appreciate. His cadence was good. His delivery was pretty good. I don't really care for a lot of the lyrics though, like the bitches and the whatever. I do like that he's like, I'm gonna be number one and there ain't no stopping me. Like, I like that kind of attitude because I feel like if you wanna be successful, you have to have that kind of attitude. If you don't think you're the best, no one else is gonna think you're the best. Right. And you have to attack every, I feel like track with mm -hmm. that mentality. So I can appreciate that. Um, the beat, I mean, I like the song sale, like the original. So I like that beat itself. So I thought I thought the idea of doing a rap on it was good. I think he is capable of better mm -hmm. because like I think he has the skill. I mean, obviously he can rap. Uh right. I liked the delivery a lot. I just think I think he probably made this song with like thinking like this is probably what the label wants. This is what he thinks fans want. And maybe, you know, some fans, that's exactly what they do want. They want the bitches and right. and stuff like that. That's not my thing, but that's cool. If it's, it's your thing. I am mad at you. Right. You do you. Uh, yeah, not terrible. I mean, I, I'd listen, like I'd listen to it if it was playing in like somewhere, like, I'm not going to just be like, I, it, it was okay. I didn't it was, hate it. It was okay. I didn't I liked it, it better than the other one. Because it's right. And I'm opposite. But, but I, I think I'm flipped. I yeah. think I think I'm um like what what Lacey said though, uh we've been spoiled. Yeah. And uh being spoiled like we've been with certain other people, uh and we come into some rapidy rap. <laughs> we mm -hmm. expect a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm really <laughs> curious to see how he's grown though. I really am since this. Yeah, yeah, no. And, for well, sure, and he, I think he also switched up genres. So okay, um, yeah, I do, that, I do that like that he's here. versatile. I do like that yeah. he like his, not all his songs sound the same. He's not afraid to get outside of the box and try new things and just do himself, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate that too. So I'm I, interested to see what he like more of his rap stuff, like with the Eminem stuff that went on and all, all of that. Some some I more semi recent stuff. I want to see what I am, what that was about really enjoying his tone though he's got a beautiful tone yeah mm -hmm. he kind of reminds me of maybe especially in this video but like uh the the look wise uh fix that artist fix the independent guy oh yeah uh, with the blonde hair and the tattoos mm -hmm. i've been following him on social he's 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 pretty charming not gonna lie don't know who that is but oh, he did yeah, the song with dax I know, uh, he did a he's got blonde oh. hair i think you would re you'd probably recognize him if you saw his like we have some saw his dax we thing. still gotta do yet <laughs> yeah dax uh, but yeah remix of eminem oh yeah, but he's, yeah. Of he's a he's def he's a he's a um that is it fix or finks uh fi it's P -H -I -X. there's no h i no end yeah, yeah there's no end yeah yeah it's fix, fix. i guess is what it is uh yeah and he's he's got a good singing voice too he can rap as well um, yeah. and he's got a new song coming out too. Uh, I think he's really talented. Again, I've been spoiled with some of the lyricism of people like Ren and Tom McDonald. So it's, it's really hard to, to sometimes like 
let that go sometimes. Well, not even just but, that. Uh, you got, yeah, I know we're going to touch on it a little bit, but even Eminem, I mean. Oh, yeah, or Eminem, too. Like, Eminem, it's it's one of those things where when they are speaking to you or when they're rapping and they're they're telling a story, like, you can you can listen and understand what they're trying to portray, what they're saying. You, they, they project emotions, and it's just very easy to follow and connect with. Mm-hmm. And, and so it's just... Not everybody has. I think you. I think it's one of those things you're kind of just born with. But like Eminem's the same way. It's like Eminem can rap faster. A lot of his songs you think about like "Without Me" or um, "Cleaning Out My Closet" or some of those. Uh, Superman. Uh, there's a lot of songs where he was just like really able to portray emotions through the words he was saying and the way he said it and the way he phrased things. And it was just easy to follow and understand and connect with. So that's always what I'm looking for in any song, and not just rap songs, but like. Even if it's rock songs, you know, like I want to connect to the song. Like I express myself a lot through music because I have a hard time expressing myself because I uh, process emotions differently than neurotypical people do. And so it's really hard for me to like a song if I can't connect with it because I I don't have that. I don't know. I don't have that connection. Go figure. But I I thought this was okay. I thought it was, I liked it better than the other one, but I'm interested to, to see like where he can go, how he grows throughout this like little rabbit hole. Yeah. This whole journey, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, and you guys drop in the comments if you if you can think of like you know uh, an MGK song that's really like lyrical and tells a good story, um, good and clear, mm-hmm. you know, Lots and you emotion. actually understand it. Yeah, let us yeah. know because we'll definitely be checking it out. I mean, you know, especially if it's rap, like because we definitely would be interested in um in, in a rap song. So um, I like but my yeah. rap shit. With that said, um, Mel, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, and if he's got anything with a little metal in there, I like my metal shit. So. I think he, um, he, well, he does. He does yeah. for well, sure. Well, I imagine so. he would because, you know, the one time I did see him was with that band Sleeping With Sirens, and he did the rap verse in that kind of like, that's more of like a punk kind of alternative that, kind of band, I guess. But like, so exactly, I, I imagine yeah. he probably like, yeah, he probably ventures From out. I bet the, he's got something. The comment said after we listened to Jelly Roll and MGK, they were saying that how how versatile he is. So yeah. I, I am very, yeah. I am so excited about this week. I really am. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys. Well, um, make sure you uh, leave us some comments below. Um, if you got any other, anything else you want to add or that you could suggest for us to, to watch, we would appreciate that. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, tap that bell so you get notified anytime the buddies uh, drop. And if you want to help support our channel, um, we will drop the, Links for that below as well. And don't forget to check out the Bitter Betty Podcast uh, website. So we got some cool merch out there. Go check us out. Yeah. And until we got next sassy time. Sassy merch. Peace out. Mm-hmm.